going to break down now what to look for in UVB lights. So I'm going to start here with a mercury vapor bulb. This is a mega ray UV output, 160 watt. The 100 watt can also give UVB levels needed for collared lizards, but as you can see, it provides UVB, UVA, has a little bit of infrared that we don't really care about. Lizards can see that and be attracted, but a lot of these boxes, it's good to key in, and when you do get a lighting, to know, because it shows the breakdown and distance that you're going to need, and the spectrum of collared lizards, you're going to want at least a 7.2 UV radius, which again, some of these go up to over 10 to 12 to 14. So again, distance it. It has multiple languages here. And then generally the box, again, 60 watt to 100 watt for that. I do have the list of other ones of the Power Sun, which is a 160. Now moving on to the T5s, we have the Reptisun. 10.0 again 10.0 basically means that's the strength and spectrum that it produces out at the ideal level anything off of that to a distance has a lower amount and again you want a 7.2 I have the Arcadia here's the 14 percent but again you can use a 12 percent and these are just some mountable T5 strip lights so one thing you should know the older T8s are thicker and less efficient so that's why moving to a t5 is what you're going to need because without any reflection the t8s don't give you what you need for a collared lizard now these t5s do have reflection too so it does even amplify it even more so again there is an option for arcadia 12 percent which is fine but the 14 percent is more powerful can last a little bit longer so going to maybe 12 months is fine with an option of doing that but again just picking the right uvb lighting is a very important thing to do for your collared lizards now here i'm showing you just the simple way to how these are packaged and sent out to where you see the reflection here there's a generic light bulb that i don't trust but then again using one of the arcadia 14 percent bulbs which gives you a great spectrum with this reflection that basically instead of just going straight down you're going to get a range of off to the side in case your collar lizards hunting or moving around since they are very active but again showing you the Arcadia 14 percent on the box as you can see I'm not focusing on it but they do show the range so I'm just going to show you general simple packaging here even with one hand you can delicately take it out but basically taking out the light bulb putting it in one of these mountable ones from my custom enclosures but it really gives you what you do need to have a proper UVB lighting and setup and I'll show you in videos after I show you basically the heat options which I like using for a cheaper method you don't need to spend the 20 40 bucks on a simple light that doesn't have UVB you can go to normal Home Depot get a Philips heat light you know one of the plant lights there's a 75 option i think there's a 100 watt option and then a 50 watt option so depending on the temperatures you're getting you can always adjust higher or lower to get the higher or lower desired temperature or you can just go to a basic halogen light bulb that has the lumens on it to show you like this is what the brightness is so if you want your tank to be a little bit brighter you can always add a high lumen halogen bulb that'll give off a decent amount of heat but again simple clips here that you can screw and mount on the lights to the enclosures hope you guys are liking this and check out some of the heat options now moving on to simple heat light options here i'm going to show you basically what i had mentioned before the phillips light bulbs which are a plant light bulb it has an off spectrum of ubb and then you have the halogen bulbs here that i'm going to show you different colors i'll focus in here but it shows you the lumens that it has which means basically the brightness it's going to put off but these also provide a nice heat where you can use one of the construction basking lamps or a different heat lamp you just screw one of these in and it gives the nice temperature to under the UVB lighting that you would want to draw them into one spot to have them to bask. I'm going to show you here multiple different enclosures that I have just showing you where the UVB lighting is positioned and then you have the heat light to angle the heat 
to have them bask directly under where the UVB spectrum is ideally where you want it to be. And this is very ideal to where if you have multiple basking settings, you can have a long strip light that gives a broad UVB spectrum. If you have the reflector like I showed you before, it makes sure it covers the whole enclosure, but also you're isolating them to have them bask in a nice warm area, but an area that gives them the UVB they need. And again, UVB is very important for proper D3 synthesis. So it starts the skin getting the first phase of a D3 supplement, but then it goes through a cascade of them being metabolized by the liver and then metabolized by the kidneys to have the metabolic D3 that you hear me talking about that then is used for muscle development, bone development, neurological development, and many other things that just keeps your lizard developing properly, maintaining properly, and overall just happy and healthy. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you.